Right, good evening Cabbage fans, it's time for some Kobe news. Let's get straight into it, shall we? I was talking last week about the biggest set Kobe are going to produce. I wasn't sure what it was, but some people commented below. I think one of them was called Carol, uh, or Carol, uh, and also some people on Reddit said to me, it's going to be a PT-109 Patrol Torpedo Boat, which is going to be awesome, especially if they get some inside detail on it, so I'm interested to see how that one goes. Next up, we have a smaller patrol boat, boat the River Mark II, set 2238, 615 pieces, four mini dudes, rumoured to be around about £35 English sterling. There's the back of the box. Liking the look of this one, got nice tarpauling on the top, quite nice little boat. Next up, we have the A22 Churchill Mark II. Uh, bracket CS. I think they've redesigned the turret on this one. Set 2709, 301 bricks. And this one will roughly be about 15 to 20 pounds if rumours are right. So we'll see on that one. Uh, back of the box there, some moving up and down turrets and round ones. Quite a nice little tank. Probably pick that one on myself to do a little review on it. Very nice indeed. Next we have a quite big set, the Aircraft Carrier Graf Zeppelin. Uh, this originally was a World of Warships uh, set, but now it's been moved to the historical collection. So set 4826, 3136 pieces. The main difference between the two, I think the deck looks a bit browner. Um, it's roughly going to be about £150 for this one, which is about right for a ship. They're usually about that size. Uh, and then we've got this set, so this is the limited edition set, so there's a bit of hoo-ha about this set. People were saying what's different between this one and the other one, and they addressed that in the Monday stream. Um, so the list the dude's holding is not in the other set, the prints on the tyres or wheels or hubcaps, whatever you want to call them, and the lights are slightly different. Uh, whether that justifies you spending more money on a limited edition, it's down to you guys. I've got it coming, so we'll see what happens. For me, it's a it's a cool car anyway. Um, next up, we have the Africa Corps uh, set 2050, uh, 30 bricks and three mini dudes. Probably going to be about 10 to 20 pounds for that one. Uh, next up, we have the cool Top Gun F14A Tomcat. Now this was, you know, this has been shown a few times, but we've got a price on it. So I don't know how accurate this pricing is. So don't hold me to it, obviously. But it's meant to be 29998 Zloty, which is about 60 to 70 pounds for me. I don't know if that's going to be about right. I wonder if it's going to be a little bit more expensive than that. But 754 pieces, too many dudes. You've got Maverick and Goose. Very, very cool. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. And the wings are retractable, I believe, as well, which is even more awesome. Uh, and then last but not least, on Monday stream. They mentioned the catalogue will be coming out end of May, or maybe sooner. And they mooted about the possibility of buildings. Now, people want buildings. What buildings they are, I don't know. But for me, I'd love a cool war building. Don't know what, but you can get some cool mocks going if you've got some buildings and stuff, and scenery and stuff. So we'll see what comes from that. Um, I'm hoping to do these every week now. Um, as long as the news keeps coming, I'll see how it goes. Uh, if I've missed anything, please do drop a comment below. Let me know if I've missed anything. Um, once again, thanks for tuning in. If you like this, please do like it. If you want to see more of this, subscribe up because it's a day weekly thing as well as my reviews and everything else. Um, I won't bother saying if you didn't like it because if you didn't like it, you probably have stopped watching it after a minute. So take care. See you on the next one. Bye bye.